gunman kills at least four, wounds ten, in Northern California. Rancho Tejama Reserve, California, an apparent felon who had been shooting hundreds of rounds of bullets in recent days in a small community in Northern California began firing at random Tuesday, killing at least four people and wounding ten others. The gunman shot at people and property in seven locations, said Undersheriff Phil Johnston of the Tehama County Sheriff's Office. He called the incident a bizarre and murderous rampage. Johnston said officials at Rancho Tehama Elementary School heard gunfire and immediately locked down the facility. He says it was monumental that school workers took the action they did and he had no doubt they saved children's lives. Shortly before 8 a.m. PT, the gunman stole a pickup truck, went on a shooting spree, crashed the truck, stole a second vehicle and continued shooting before two deputies rammed his car, forcing it off the road. In an ensuing gun battle, deputies killed the man. At least three weapons were used in the attack, Johnston said, and another gun was found in the pickup the shooter was driving. This man was very, very intent on completing what he set out to do today, Johnston said. The shooter was bent on killing and shooting people at random. Members of the Rancho Tehama Reserve subdivision identified the gunman as Kevin Hansen, Neil, 43. Officials released no motive for the rampage. The man was involved in a domestic violence incident Monday and had been involved a few months earlier in a stabbing. Two children were among the wound on Tuesday. One of the children was shot at Rancho Tehama Elementary School and taken to a hospital, and a second child was in a car with his mother. The wound of the child in the car was not serious, but his mother's injuries are life-threatening, Johnston said. Deputies escorted a busload of students from the school, which houses about 100 kindergartners to fifth graders, to a safer location, the Rancho Tehama Association Community Building less than a mile away. No students or staff were killed, said Superintendent Rich Duvarney of the County Education Department. Brian Flint said he got a call in the morning that his roommate was injured and that his truck had been stolen. It turned out his neighbor was the gunman. The crazy thing is that the neighbor has been shooting a lot of bullets lately, hundreds of rounds, large magazines, Flint said. We made it aware that this guy is crazy and he's been threatening us. Living near the gunman was hell, Flint said, and the man was a known felon who often harassed Flint and his neighbors. The shooter had a semi-automatic rifle and two handguns, Johnston said. Joseph Raven was doing tile work with a co-worker at a ranch show Tehama home when the shooting started. We heard the bullets fly right next to our ears, Raven said. There were screams, a female screaming, a male screaming. There were helicopters all over the place. The FBI was sending teams to assist Tehama County investigators said Jason Mondel, Chief Division Counsel at the FBI's Sacramento Field Office. State Senator Jim Nielsen, a Republican from Gerber, California, whose district includes Rancho Tehama, called the incident senseless violence. Other politicians, including Vice President Mike Pence, also offered their condolences. Rancho Tehama resident Salvador Tello said he was taking his three children to school when the gunman fired at the truck in front of him. Tello saw bullets hit the truck, so he made his children get down and put his own truck in reverse, he said. As he left, he saw a woman lying in the street, apparently dead, with her husband next to her, apparently wounded. Corning Union Elementary School District released a statement Tuesday evening saying that all Rancho Tehama students and staff had been accounted for and that the school would be closed until law enforcement completed an investigation and repairs could be made to the building. School staff is commended for their courageous and professional response to this terrible incident, the statement read. The school was able to go on lockdown very quickly and effectively, which prevented any further injury or violence. Katrina Gehrman, who lives near the school, said she heard gunshots when she went outside. I have not left my house because I'm with my newborn son, very scary moment, Gehrman said. I have the right to bear arms, and I will protect my son if I have to. Another resident with a baby, Casey Burnett, 
said she saw the gunman driving around the area, shooting randomly from his car. The incident comes a week after a shooting spree at a Sutherland Spring, Texas, church left 25 people dead, including a pregnant woman whose unborn baby also died and a little over a month after 58 people were killed in a massacre at a Las Vegas country music festival. Rancho Tejama Reserve, a subdivision that is home to almost 1,500 people, is described on its website as a quiet private country community located 12 miles west of Interstate 5 and about 110 miles northwest of Sacramento. In 2010, more than 86% of the community's